excited about him. His family's here. They came up from Georgia, his girlfriend. Um, so, again, like we said yesterday, really excited to get Miles here. Uh, fits everything that we want, character-wise, player-wise. Uh, we know that he's got the talent and ability and work ethic uh, to help us do all the things that we want to do. And, and icing on the cake, great fit in the locker room. Um, went to a place that, that when you sign up to go play at Clemson, you know you're competing for championships and the standard's going to be very high. And, and that's our standard here as well. You know, we want to compete for championships and we have a very high standard and we want players that understand that and have been through it before. And we know that Miles has done that. And um, so just really enjoyed getting to know his family a little bit this morning and uh, already got to know Miles, but uh, he's a great fit for what we want to do. And so I'm going to turn it over to Miles and I'll, I'll jump out here. <laughs> oh, am I answering the questions or? <laughs> First impressions, uh, you got a chance to see the facility, get around some of the coaches. What are your first impressions here? Uh, first impressions, uh, obviously, like you said, going coming from a winning organization to to a winning organization, knowing it takes a certain mentality to be a winning organization. So, really knowing that I'm going to go to a team that has that mentality, knows what it takes to know knows what it takes to consistently win. Uh, that's a very like uplifting, positive feeling, uh, and then. You know, just being a being another weapon to an already loaded team, already loaded defense. Uh, you know, that's just great, honestly. I know you haven't watched much tape, haven't had much time to study tape or such, but you've probably seen him on television, and it's not the greatest uh, perspective. But what do you know about Luana Rumo, if anything? What do you know about the schematic? Are you excited about the diversity of the schematics? Does it fit you and your versatility? How do you feel about all that? I feel great about it. I feel it, it, fits, my, it fits my play style perfectly. Uh, really, just for the deal, I'ma just letting loose, almost freestyle. Just get out to the quarterback, especially for the edge guys. Uh, watching Hendrick, Hendrick, Hendrickson, Hubbard, you know, watch, watch really watching them too. Uh, just fly off the edge, uh, let, let, letting them let loose, and uh, really day one when, when I get in, I'm just ready to just eager, eager to learn, uh, eager, eager to learn from them, learn, you know, the mentality of you know, day in and day out, their work ethic, work, work ethic, and all that. So. Just excited to get to work. What made you pick number 99? One in 98. And <laughs> <laughs> DJ Reader's not going to give that up, so 99 still looks good. Have you heard from DJ? Was that? Have you heard from DJ? I know he's excited that you got uh, Yeah, it was really, you know, just excitement, just, you know, excited that I'm joining the team and really just can't get to work together. You're a Clemson guy. DJ's a Clemson guy. Marion Hobby's a Clemson guy. Your old coach was a, bang was a Bengal, basically, Bengals coach. I mean, all those connections with Clemson and Cincinnati, how, how cool is that? How unique is that? It is very cool. It's very, it's very unique. Uh, honestly, the, the culture mentality at Clemson is extremely similar, if not the same, in Cincinnati. So really just going from one place to another, but the mentality is the same, the culture is the same. That, that's, that's great. So much focus on, on your position on getting after the quarterback and rushing, but how much do you embrace, how much do you enjoy setting the edge and defending the run? I really, I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy it a lot. But to say it's, it's my job, uh, but to say the defense is only as strong as the weakest link. So everyone, everyone needs to do their job. Uh, if I set the edge, both ends set the, set the edge, both of the tackles penetrate, penetrate the backfield, over to open up the guys for the linebackers. Everything kind of just falls into peace. And the link, the links are just strong together right there. So really doing my job that that's, you know, exciting within itself. I know when we were talking to you on the phone Thursday night, the phone kind of went out with, was the question was, how often did they move you inside? Like how, how frequently did you rush from a defensive tackle position? Uh, per, if I had to give a percentage, maybe 25, 30% of the time. Cause we, we just had it in our, in our defensive scheme. Like Clemson, we would do literally every type of front, four, three, three, four, odd, while being a three. Uh, I remember my sophomore year against Louisville, we called it a LeBron, LeBron front. I'd be in a zero, so I'd I'd be all I was all over the place from really from a zero all the way out to a nine. So really just rushing all those gaps. You ever drop in the coverage? I've dropped in coverage a lot. Yeah. yeah. So what 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 you feeling there? Is that uh, is that something you feel real comfortable with? I, I feel very comfortable doing that. Uh, about to say, I know I'm not a lockdown corner, but I'm about to say. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's pretty every night. I, 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 have the, I have the speed to keep up with the running backs coming out the backfield. Miles, how aware are you that 
This organization, the last couple of years, has spent a lot of draft assets on building its defense. This year, again, you and, and now two defensive backs after you picked last night. How exciting is it to be part of an organization that is putting a heavy emphasis on building the defense? I was about to say it's very exciting, and really just, just knowing that, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's a high-power offense, so really just doing whatever I can do to, you know, Put the ball back in our office's hand as much as possible, and knowing if they have, if they, if I, if my offense has the uh, ball more than they do, we're probably going to get more points on the board. Simple math. Do you know yeah. DJ or Jordan? Okay. Sorry. Uh, no. Uh, about about to say first time. I ne I never met him in person, but texted him last night. You got family here. Uh, who, who do you have here? Just what, what's your family meant to you along this journey? Uh, with, with me, I have my brother Maxwell, mom, Brian, dad Willard, girlfriend Lauren, and I, that's who I, that's who I brought with me. I could have, if they would have gave me a charter plan, I would have brought all 175 people that was at the draft party. But <laughs> about to say, uh, family, it's, it's meant a lot. Uh, they they've been with me throughout the entire journey. So honestly, just I took bits and pieces from each and one of them, whether it be mannerisms, uh, just learning opportunities, uh, experiences, just, you know, taking those things and, and growing, growing upon them. So honestly, they kind of shaped me into the man that I am right now. 175 people at your draft party. Why did you decide to have so many people there for the most, I mean, one of the biggest moments of your life? Uh, honestly, because if it were to be just a small party of 20 people, that would have been, it would have been tough to just pick out 20 people because honestly, it's, 175 sounds like a lot, but just like I said, it, it's bits and pieces that people have like implemented implemented into my life that has impacted me in a way. So it, I felt like they all deserve to be there in that moment. Do you get a sense of how close this organization is to a Super Bowl title and how great the desire is to get over the top? Of course. I'm about to say, the uh, past, past few years, uh, it's evident. Uh, it's not a secret. Uh, the Bengals are a Super Bowl contender, and that is what it is. And I just want to—I just want to do what I can do, get in where I fit in, and be that extra push over that hill. How many new, uh, of your teammates have you heard from? Of my new teammates? Yeah, new teammates. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, it was a good bit of them. Um, really, uh, of course, uh, Joe, Bur Joe Burrow, uh, most of the D line. Linebackers, uh, Awuzie. Uh, about to say a good, a good bit of the team already hit me up. So I'm gonna, of course, in the next few, and then in the next few years, I should have most of the team. So it'll, it'll be a good, it'll be a good journey. What's the biggest thing you learned at Clemson, either on or off the football field, that will assist you in your transition to the National Football League? Do you think? Uh, biggest thing, especially now, just find my find that routine because I'm I'm big on routine, big on schedule because. I just I I like to I guess know that know, know that I know know what's coming up next uh, within my schedule and not I don't really want too much free time because I feel like I'm not being productive if I if I'm have too much free time so really just finding that routine of working out recovery getting in the playbook and then you know just when it comes time to just chill you know find that time to chill.